Good morning, guys. It's so early. I think it's 6.30. I have a flight that I need to leave for in about 30 minutes. I'm going back to Arizona. I'll tell you why in a minute. I put on a little bit of moisturizer because my skin is freaking out as you can tell it's breaking out really bad so i've been using some harsh products trying to like get it to go away i diced in my hair last night so it has a little bit of curl left to it pull it back while i do some makeup i have a really really busy day i'm gonna do some makeup just because i want to feel good because i'm gonna be on camera all day and these are screaming very loud, very loud. Just gonna put the concealer on my blemishes. I find it better when it like dries a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it on while I do my eyebrows. I didn't have time to ice roll or gua sha this morning. So feeling puffy after a really late night. I had like dominoes and chocolate at like 2 a.m. last night. I just put on sweatpants and this tank top now i'm gonna put on all my jewelry rings watch hair clip headphones oh. oh gosh i don't know if that is less than 50 pounds these are the shoes we'll be wearing today i need to call a number exactly day i have officially oh my god there is a big grasshopper no 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 i have made it to my office aka my parents garage i have 300 orders to package today i've never packaged an order before have no idea what i'm doing today's definitely gonna be you know a learning experience so one mental breakdown leader um we're here oh my goodness this is way 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 harder than i expected i thought everything was gonna go smoothly but unfortunately you know this is honestly like the reality of creating your own business and being a business owner you're doing everything solo like sometimes it can be very 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 overwhelming and i just definitely had one of those times i definitely did not make a great choice on my label printer maybe i just don't know how to use it yet or what but it was giving me a lot of trouble i couldn't get it like calibrated right so it was printing really bad but i didn't notice that it was printing bad until i printed like 12 labels i don't know what I, again i'm just this is my very first time with everything i don't know if i'm doing it wrong or this is literally how long it takes but the label printer it has this adapter that doesn't fit into my computer anymore so i've been having to use shopify on my phone and let me just show you how long this takes i'm on the order create shipping label let it let it load for a sec scroll down buy the shipping label let it load scroll down print shipping label pulls up the, the shipping label and then you got to press this printer button then i got to press the share button save to files name it the order number so i don't forget you think that's it no i gotta go to the printer app press file press it print it i have to do that routine for hundreds of orders that is literally just getting the label more of the story i definitely definitely underestimated all of this but it's fine i had my little mental breakdown and now we're on a roll this is what my five foot self has to drive right now this is a monster truck <laughs> i'm going to starbucks i need something let me know if you guys would want a more like in-depth kind of how i started how you can start what i do how i fell because i know there's probably so many people out there ready to like 
have such good ideas, want to start their own business, but just kind of don't really, one, have the motivation, or two, just don't really know how. I did everything on my own. It was very hard, and I'm going to be so honest. I hated talking about it. Anytime anyone would ask me, I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know, because I felt so, I don't really like using this word, but dumb. Everything that came out of my mouth, anything that had to do with like business stuff, designing, talking to a manufacturer, I was just so, everything that came out of my mouth, I was like, that just sounds dumb. I just could see where it could get very overwhelming and discouraging when there's so many things that you have to learn and it's kind of like, oh my gosh, I know nothing, nothing. My mom's always like, you'll learn, like you'll get there, like just take it one step at a time and honestly, that's just the best piece of advice. One step at a time and give yourself some time because it is a very, very long and it kind of just makes you a little bit more overwhelmed when you're trying to like rush the whole thing because you want to get it out speaking from experience yeah so just let me know if you guys would like to see more like behind the scenes maybe me getting in my samples talking to my manufacturer designing packaging like let me know if you guys want to see any of that stuff i feel like once i have some food in me and have this to sip on while i'm doing the stuff oh my gosh it's 111 I'll feel a little bit better, just a little Starbucks haul. I don't drink coffee, I don't really drink caffeine at all, so when I go, it's like once every blue moon. Ice peach green tea lemonade, I got a big one today. I don't know the sizes yet, guys. I don't know what grande and venti are, and I was like, mm, venti. This is the best thing from Starbucks. It's the ham and Swiss baguette. I'm gonna eat this and continue to work. <laughs> this is where we're at. I am actually blown away. I thought it would be fun if I packaged my first order with you guys. So what I'm doing right now is just taking all of the orders out. So my manufacturer kind of like packaged them. Not needed, but very new for us to be working together. So just the reality of this is how it is. It's back and forth. I like this. I don't like this. We need to change this. That's just how it is. I'm going to just separate them all by sizes into these boxes because I feel like it'll be a little bit easier when I go to package the orders. Okay, please ignore my outfit. I was actually sweating. I had to go put on a pair of my mom's pajama shorts, basically panties. But we're about to package the first order and I'm so excited. Starting a business is such trial and error. I'm now realizing like how many things that I want to change already and I haven't even like ship things out yet first being the packaging i thought it would be cute to do these little boxes two things one i already want to change the logo and two why would i ship a white box like it would just be so dirty by the time it got there so i bought some pink bags that match the tissue paper not ideal and i'm such a perfectionist that it's kind of making me go insane like i've been dreaming about it for the past couple of days i just want everything to be perfect first things first is i'm gonna look on my orders shout out to lisa lisa you if you're watching thank you so much you're my first order um she got an extra small so I decided to do a pre-order like kind of last minute, like it was not planned. I didn't even announce that I was like, that it was on the website yet. And Miss Lisa purchased it. And a couple others. I think like the first three people purchased before I even posted anything about it, which is actually insane. So I'm just gonna wrap it up in the tissue paper. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's my first rodeo here. And I got these stickers that I'm going to just seal the tissue paper with. Place it in the box, like so. And also a thank you card. Uh, not on the first order. I'm tripping if I put the right size in. My goodness. Slip it in there. Oh my gosh, guys. First package, that's so crazy, wow. So it's 7.45, so that's what we've done so far. I've been right here since 10 a.m. I need to go back to my house to get everything ready for tomorrow because I have a photo shoot at 10 a.m., which means I have to be up at eight. I need to go grab dinner and figure that out, make sure everything's good because I think I might have to go to the store to get something for the photo shoot, but I don't know yet. Let's go. 
Okay, it's currently 9.34 and I'm walking in to Target because I need to find like a boy's wife beater, like Hane's wife beater for my photo shoot in the morning. So let's pray that it's here. So I found some. The only size is extra small. I don't know if these are gonna work. Okay, I, I just wasn't looking hard enough. There's a small one. I think this will probably be perfect. 407. It is currently 11.37. It feels like four in the morning because I've been up for so long. I have 200 more to go. I just refilled all the bins and restocked the tissue paper in the bags. I refuse to go to sleep tonight without all of the orders complete. I have not slept in weeks because of the anxiety that I have. Just another day delayed when I could finish them all tonight. I just would much rather stay up, get no sleep, make sure that they're complete. For the people watching this that it took a little while to get your order, I seriously am trying my hardest. Update and time check. It's 2.35 and I have 83 orders left. Oh, we made it. My body is like completely shutting down. My body's numb. Like it's the weirdest feeling ever. I'm actually scared to drive home. But this is so exciting. Such a surreal moment. I wish I could experience a little bit more, but I'm like so dead. Time to go home. I'm whispering because it's five in the morning and my roommates are sleeping but this is on my vision board are we kidding good morning it's 9 30 i am on my way to the shoe i'm gonna feel much better once like everything's done and i can just like chill after the shoot the only other thing left i have to do is actually like get the packages sent out i have a scheduled pickup i've never done that before so i don't know and they don't tell you what time they come so i'm hoping it's not while i'm gone and i can be there so we can like get the show on the road but once that's done i will feel so good but yeah i got home went to sleep around 5 45 two hours of sleep basically and then one thing about me is i'm not a photo shoot girl i'm just not feeling my best definitely not photo shoot material right now but again it's okay and we're gonna push through because these might end up the best photos i have Officially done with the shoe. Went so amazing. Until next time. Hi guys, update. I am finally done with everything. Definitely took me a couple of days to like decompress and get back to feeling normal. I was so tired and run down after just like the grind, but ready to keep designing, keep going so I can get more things out for you guys. I'm so excited. Dad! I just want to thank everyone so, so, so much who has supported me, who supported Jane Doe. I would be nowhere today without you guys, and I seriously am so, so, so grateful. And I just hope everyone knows that because I feel like I don't express how grateful I am for you guys. Don't forget to chase your dreams because you can do anything you put your mind to. But again, I would be nowhere without you guys, so I'm so grateful and thankful for that. So... Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. And follow all my socials and Jane Doe socials if you want to keep up.